In this video, I will show you how to drastically lower input delay in all games using a program that will tremendously help you boost FPS and lower the input latency in all games. If you want to support my work, please don't forget to leave a like on this video. It will only take you guys a second and it would help me out so, so much. Also guys, 89% of you watching my videos are not even subscribed. So make sure that you hit that subscribe button right now. And without any further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So the program that I'm talking about is the Wheelers Performance Booster, which as you might have guessed by the name is a performance boosting software. This software contains a bunch of tweaks which will tremendously help you boost frames and mainly lower the input latency of your PC and improve the overall performance of your Windows. Now this is a paid software however before you click off of this video just hear me out and then you'll realize yourself that it's a complete steal for the money you pay and the amount of tweaks and optimization that this software provides. So this software is 9 US dollars which by the way if you use code Recnotic you will get 10% off and I will also get a small commission so yeah make sure that you do that when buying this software However, let's get into how to buy this software, how to set it up, and I'm also gonna show you guys every tweak that this software has as of the current version 2.2. So go down into the description of this video and I will leave the link to the Discord server for this software that is Velo's Performance Booster. So once you join the server, the program is made by Velo, this nice mate right here. And on the getting started page, it shows you how to use the Velo's Performance Booster or the VPB, and it just overviews the main function that is the game mode of this program. Then you go into the FAQ where it explains some of the frequently asked questions and then there is the download here page which of course will be unlocked to you after you have paid the showcase faq feedback which of course you would always want to read if you were buying something and you can go through all of these reviews here but trust me all of them are very good reviews and you can go ahead and read them for yourself so then we move on to actually buying the program in order to do that you go up here at the top to purchase here and you click on this link to purchase the program you can use a uh, shopee or cash and by the way Shopee supports PayPal, Bitcoin, Ethereum. So you go ahead and click on that link. You go ahead and click on purchase, select your method, then enter your email, blah blah blah. By the way, make sure that you use code Recnotic so that you get 10% off and it will also give me a small commission. So yeah, make sure that you go ahead and use code Recnotic when buying this software. And after you are done, you open up this ticket and you can read all of the steps right here and they will give you the access within 24 hours. And after that, you get access to the paid chat as well as this paid option right here which includes announcements download requests bug reports and all that good stuff so you go ahead download here download the program the current version will be listed right here the program also has a command line version which only includes the key mode for lighter purposes but i will just recommend using the interface program in most cases so assuming that you have now purchased and downloaded the software right click run as admin well that's actually basically just my habit but you can go ahead and open it up once here you go through the register process into your discord your uh, username submit and then you go into login and login through there so i'm just gonna log in and yeah so here it is so this is the interface of the program pretty basic i know but keeping it clean is what i prefer as well if you have seen my program so we're gonna start off by the game mode settings now this is the most powerful setting as stated by below himself inside of this program which will if you go ahead and turn the game mode on it will suspend the win login so basically it will kill the dwm process and things like hotkeys etc will not work which will give you in turn better performance it will also kill explorer so taskbar desktop all that stuff stop unneeded services stop drivers and set a lot of windows processes and services to low priority and also free memory what you can do is just go ahead and toggle the game mode on minimize this and play the game and after you're done playing the game just go ahead and turn the game mode off so you can go ahead and turn it on and turn it off also you can go ahead and set a shortcut key for the game mode on off toggle so for example if i want to set it to maybe all Alt plus A. So I'm gonna tick Alt and type in A and then just save. I'm not gonna do that. I use it from here. And also you might see this dialog box here. So this is used when you have turned off the game mode. So while the game mode is turned on, you don't need to use this. However, if you want to use this, you will need to turn off the game mode and then set the priority to low, normal or high. And you might ask what priority. So this is actually the TWM or the desktop composition as most people say it. Priority which by default is set to high. Uh, you can go ahead and set it to low for better 
better input but it might cause some desktop issues so I would normally just leave it be and just turn on the game mode while I'm playing the game and turn off later on and turn off after I'm done playing. Then moving on to the CPU tab inside of here the, it has disable idle which will go ahead and disable the idle for your power plan which does show 100% CPU uh, utilization as it says right here as well in the task manager which is a bug because your CPU is not at 100% utilization it's just a visual bug inside of the task manager. Keep in mind that this will cause high temperatures uh, so go ahead and test disable idle versus enable idle. Enable idle is actually the default setting so if you have ever disabled idle you might want to try enable idle. Then there is the set 0.5 ms timer resolution which I'm pretty sure all of you are familiar with. It's basically timer resolution but built into the program itself. So you can go ahead and set to 0.5 or back to 1 ms if you want. Then moving on to compositing and this one right here will kill the WM which can cause black screen but it will automatically fix itself if you don't change anything. Most of the times it will work completely properly. Then there is the toggle full screen exclusive. Now don't confuse this with full screen optimizations because for the full screen optimizations we want to turn them off. However for toggle full screen exclusive we want to set it to enabled. So I have it enabled would you like to disable it? No. Uh, by the way if you guys are wondering why I'm not clicking on most of the options it's because I'm recording the video and I don't want to mess up my recording. Then you want to restore DWM if you have killed it previously. Restart graphics drivers. Pretty self explanatory if you ask me. Then there is the system cleanup free memory which is going to clean up standby list and also lowers the memory usage. SVC split threshold. What this does is automatically detects your RAM and groups a lot of windows processes. So if I go into the task manager to quickly show you guys. Scroll down to windows processes. As you guys can see that I have a lot of these processes grouped together inside of a one process which actually helps in decreasing the overall number of processes right here. Now this will not help with frames but you can use it to lower the number of processes that you have. So you, all you guys need to do is just go ahead and click on this button and done. Then there is the clean temp files. It is self explanatory once again. Device cleanup. It is going to clean up all of the unused devices that were previously connected to your PC. Disable services slash drivers. Disables all of the useless services and drivers. Disable windows updates. Once again pretty self explanatory. It disables windows updates and some of you guys might be concerned why we are disabling windows updates. So the reason for that is actually windows introduces more bloatware and security patches which will lower the performance with each update. Also windows updates will revert all of the tweaks that you have previously applied so you will have to go through all of them again. That is the reason we disable windows updates. Then there is the disable security features which is going to disable all of the security features such as the microcodes, the mitigations and windows security patches, windows firewall and stuff like that. All of that is for security purposes however that tremendously decreases your performance. So I will leave it up to you however I highly recommend you guys to disable all of the security features and just be aware while you're searching the web. Then we go into the preference tweaks so as the name implies all of these are personal preference, win32 priority, well you can also use a custom value but I would recommend you guys to just stick with 26 and that's it. Uh, then there is the large pages tweak which will allow processes to use large memory regions. So yeah just go ahead and click on that and basically that's done. Then there is the mouse squeeze size which of course changes the buffer for your mouse and keyboard. So you go ahead and set this to 30 or 20. I generally recommend setting both of these to 20 because the lower it is uh, the lower input delay you will get. However if you set it too low then you might experience some mouse teleportation, keys not registering and stuff like that. Then the CSRSS real time priority. So CSRSS actually controls the input to windows. So if you set it to real time it will help you lower the input delay. Then there is reboot is required. Well I don't want to reboot right now but we will at the end. Then there is the disable menu delay which just disables the all that mouse menu delay stuff. Then moving on to installers so you can install Prospects Explorer which is actually an alternative to the task manager which I highly recommend. Install Legendary an alternative to Epic Games Launcher and Real Audio which does say that it helps with audio latency while running. Then there is the mist stuff where you can go ahead and change color and all that good stuff. You can set it to startup and set the delay. Then there is the exit warning so that if you exit it will ask whether you want to exit or not. Minimize to system tree instead of minimizing it down to taskbar and then there is the credits which credits those people that have helped him with the program. Uh, then we move on to GPU. So apply GPU tweaks. This is going to automatically detect whether you have an NVIDIA GPU or an AMD GPU and apply tweaks according to that. Then the import NIP. This is going to only work for NVIDIA GPUs that you should probably know. So there are three types of profiles. It's the single player, the multiplayer and the basic one. So all of these focus on different stuff which if you guys want to go ahead and look into more detail 
about each and every function inside of this uh, program what you can do is go into their discord so after you are in his discord go into the faq and go ahead and open up this link which will go ahead and show you guys the, what each and every setting inside of this program does so you can go ahead and read through all of this or just watch my video it's basically the same thing so select whichever one you want for most online games you would want the multiplayer for single player games you will want this one and for overall basic functions just go ahead and use the basic one i would recommend the multiplayer because i know that most people play multiplayer games anyways so after you have selected that exit out of this then you can go into deep load and there are actually a lot of options you can deep load discord deep load brave deep load chrome firefox spotify and even deep load windows all you guys need to do is just one click and that's it you can close out of this you can go into the program launcher so this feature is useful when you use it along with the game mode so when you have the game mode on of course you won't be able to use your taskbar and your desktop so what you can do is actually put the programs that you might want to launch inside of here and then launch them through here so an example would be let's go into the file location go on to desktop and i'm just gonna go ahead and select rufus i'm gonna name it uh, rufus and add so now if i click on this it is going to launch that program without having to go there so you can add your games and programs that you might want to launch right here and you can go ahead and remove them by clicking reset and then close then moving on to the performance tweaks uh, disable power saving features self-explanatory disables all of the power saving features apply storage tweaks applies the storage tweaks that are designed to help you optimize your storage apply network tweaks so these ones are actually interesting what i want you to do is basically copy my settings right here so after you are done copying my settings i want to explain the two of these so the two of these the net dma and the chimney offload will actually help you lower cpu usage but at the cost of higher network latency which i to be honest don't want because my cpu usage is already very low however if you are suffering from high cpu usage then you might want to turn them on after that just hit apply and that's it close out of this mmcss tweaks basically applies the multimedia class scheduler tweaks pretty basic and that's it we are done with applying all of the tweaks inside of this program so as you guys can see uh, the program has a ton of tweaks and not just placeable they are actually useful tweaks including features like deep loading gpu tweaks i mean all the good stuff so for nine dollars i would definitely call it a steal and if you use code Regnetic, you will also get 10 percent off uh so yeah definitely go ahead and check out this program and download it and use it to optimize your pc so yeah that's basically it for today i will also link other useful guides that will actually help you with gaining more fps and lowering the input delay in the description of this video so make sure to check those out if you have any questions feel free to drop them in the comments i try to reply to every single one of you and also if this video help you then make sure to leave a like down below it will help me out so so much and also subscribe to the channel guys as i said 89 percent of you watching my videos are not even subscribed so make sure that you do that right now and with that i guess i'll see you in the next one until then stay awesome